still we're here at a Ben drop location. Uh, I think these are Amazon drops. Say hey, buddy. Hey. And this is my sourcing buddy, Sebastian. And as you know, I'm starting to sell, sell and resell things on eBay. So we're trying this Ben drop and I'm not buying anything today because I'm just getting started I'm trying to sell out of my own inventory at home and uh, get some revenue going first. And I'm trying not to get into the storage business of things I can't, I'm not ready to sell at this point. So I guess that's the question is, how disciplined do you need to be in your sourcing in order to be successful at this? I'm gonna say you probably need to be pretty disciplined. So I'm just here looking today, trying to get the feel for how these bin drops work. Um, here with my grandson and my beautiful wife, it's our anniversary today. So happy anniversary, babe. And uh, Let's go see if we can find some cheap stuff, okay, buddy? Okay. All right. Hey, yeah, so we just got back from the bin drop. Um, you saw that we were there. I was there with my uh, beautiful wife and my awesome grandson, Sebastian. Uh, he lives with us. He'll make an appearance in a lot of videos. Uh, he's my little buddy and goes everywhere with me, does everything with me. Um, if you haven't been to a bin drop event, store, location, I don't know what you call them, the one we have in our town, uh, just does them randomly. They've got a Facebook page and they just uh, kind of put out a notice of when they're going to have items and people show up. This is the first time we've ever been. So I don't know what they usually look like, but this was held uh, in vacant retail space in our local mall. I'm going to say there's probably about 2,000 square feet of space being used and yeah, maybe 12 or 15 bins. You know, there are four four feet by four feet and maybe two feet deep and pretty much full of uh, returned items. I'm assuming it's a Amazon bin drop and maybe they've got other sources they get items from as well. Um, there also was two sections, uh, one that was a little bit of food and one that was health and beauty. I didn't really spend any time looking there, but where things have been taken out of the returned packages and were for sale, uh, you know, price based on uh, value instead of just eight dollars per random package so i don't know if that's typical but that's the way this one was run uh, a little bit about my personal business model and some parameters that i've set up i'm just getting started in this um, buying and selling used items and flipping them ebay will be my main um outlet to get rid of things although i probably use facebook market now and then uh, for items i don't want to mess with shipping um, anyway uh, two parameters i've set for myself first is i'm going into this and i'm not spending any money out of pocket with the exception of i know that i'll have to pay shipping out of pocket on the items i sell initially but i'm selling only items uh, from around my own house I, I literally could probably sell a thousand dollars worth of stuff. My wife and I've just kind of been hoarding for the last 12 or 15 years we've been living here. And I've got neckties I don't wear and tools I don't use and books I've read years ago and um, clothes and shoes and all kinds of stuff. So, so that's what I'm going to do is sell that stuff initially. So I was not looking to buy today. Uh, the other parameter that I have set for myself that I will stick to, you can see this shelf up behind me. It's full of knickknacks now. I'm not buying anything until that shelf is empty. And then there's three shelves just like it that will one by one get emptied. But I'm not buying anything that I don't have room for um, on the shelf or shelves that I have dedicated for this. Uh, my wife and I have spent the last year or so working towards a more minimalist type lifestyle uh, I'm tired of clutter so so I'm not going into this uh, buying and selling things uh, just to, to put more crap back in my house so uh, I will have a shelf or two cleared off and I will buy items that will fit on that shelf and I'll list them and as they sell uh, we'll replace them and I know this isn't the same type of model that a lot of people are using they're trying to get as many things listed and as much inventory as they can as quick as they can. And I'm taking a different route, so we'll see. That's part of the reason I'm putting this on YouTube is to document it, see how it goes, and uh, see if we can make it work. If you haven't been to a bin drop before, uh, 
Maybe you have, maybe they're all different because this is my first one. But some of the things we saw today, if I were buying, I think there were some opportunities. Uh, there was a garbage disposal. Um, and I don't think you can buy a garbage disposal from Home Depot, Depot for eight bucks. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't remember what ours cost when we replaced it, but I'm thinking quite a bit more than that. So that, that's probably something you could flip pretty easy. Um, there were two industrial filters, which I thought were a little bit weird. And by industrial filter, I mean, I mean large oil filters for like a, uh, a large diesel engine, something that you would see in a ship or a, a very large dump truck or something, you know. Uh, you'd see them in a, in a diesel engine that had a, an oil pan of like 50 gallons or something. So that was interesting. They weren't a brand I'm familiar with, and since I work on ships, uh, I, I do know a little bit about what kind of brands you might see. They weren't a brand I was familiar with, and I couldn't find them on, uh, any on eBay. So m maybe they wouldn't be a, a flip an item for a good flip, but I thought that was interesting. Uh, there were a few shoes, uh, but one thing I think you have to think about with bins, are, that, are they all like this, that you can't look in the package? You can take it to a table and have them open and look, but you can't really look. So I suppose, <laughs> I suppose there's the opportunity that you could find a Nike shoe box that looked like it was new Nikes inside and get home and find something else. So I probably am not buying anything and walking out without making sure I'm looking in the package first. Uh, there was a brand new video game controller that was an off-brand. I'm not a gamer, so I don't know, but um, I looked it up and it seemed like they were selling plenty for uh, between $20 and $30. So it was 8 bucks. Uh, that's something you might uh, be able to make a flip on. There was a motorcycle helmet um, for 8 bucks, and I've ridden i have a couple of helmets i don't even for kind of generic as, as long as it's a legal helmet and meets the safety standards uh that's a 50 dollar item maybe more so anyway so that's what we saw and um i keep saying and um a lot you know i'm, I'm new to this youtube and i'm gonna have to work on my delivery obviously but we live about 50 minutes from Houston in a fairly small town with one Goodwill that is the most expensive Goodwill I've ever been in. So our, <coughs> excuse me, our, our sourcing options are going to be somewhat limited. So if this bin drop turns out to be a regular thing in town, I will probably uh, go and see if I can pick up an, a few items each time that they uh, have a day of sales. Other than that, I'll drive up to Houston. Uh, like I said, we, we've been thrifting for, you know, recreational, spend a day as a family kind of things for a long time. So uh, we've got a few stops up in Houston that we already like, and I'll be sourcing from there. But uh, it was an interesting day at the bin drop and um, looking forward to the next one. So uh, as we go, as I learn, I'll share what I learn with you guys and we'll see you in the next video.